The Eurozone debt crisis and the sluggish US economy has lifted the Swiss franc to new highs. The SMB are due to meet this week, and I asked Tony Nyman from Informa Global Markets the likelihood of a decision to cap the franc's strength. Well, I think that's very unlikely at this stage. Sure, you know, the SMB is concerned, the strong Swiss is, is set to negatively impact on the economy. But most utterances by uh, central bank chief Hildebrand and the rest of the members indicate there's no such moots at the moment. And um, central bank member Jordan said a couple of weeks ago, last month, that the banks worried um, about the Swiss rise and it would act if this deflationary risks were to emerge. But recent data in May, Swiss inflation came in at just 0.0% month on month and 0.4% year on year. That's, that's soft, but it's, it's not really deflationary at the moment. And of course, the SMB has tried the intervention tactic before. They've tried to cap the um, Swiss strength in 2009, 2010. And then they lost billions and weren't able to stem appetites of a Swiss and the currency's gain. So we don't think really, unless deflation rears its head again, that they're about to move that way. What do you think will be the main topics of discussion for the SMB? Well, I think they're just going to sit and wait at the moment, basically. Um, you, you've got to remember that the data is pretty mixed at the moment. They were pretty, the markets were surprised that Swiss um, Q1 GDP came in at um, just 0.3% quarter on quarter, 2.4% year on year. That was pretty much low, below forecast. No real inflation threat at the moment. And of course, you know, there's so many other worries out there, such as um, the Japan new quake nuclear crisis, high oil prices, uh, the prices, the EMU sovereign debt crisis all these things, I mean, it's really a sit and wait um, policy at the moment, see how that actually impacts on on um, Swiss economy going ahead, really. So, projection time, where do you see the Swiss franc going in the short, mid and long term? Obviously, Euro Swiss, which is the main um, pair that the market looks at, fell to 120.04 yesterday, that was a new record low. The market near term clearly is concentrating on that 120 mark. It's a psychological, it's a barrier mark. It's surviving for now, but most people seem to think that's going to break. And once it does, it could fall to 117.50, 118, possibly even 115 fairly quickly in the next month or so. With broader market sentiment so negative currently, there's no real rush to resolve the Greek aid in pass, uh, the US debt ceiling limit. We think to say the one month and the three months, then we're looking at maybe 118 in Euro Swiss. In the medium to long term, of course, the market thinks these situations will be resolved. The, the Euro will go on and, you know, the, the strength of the German economy should carry the peripherals to some form of safety. As a result, then, yield differentials, the greater internationalization of the euro compared to the Swiss, should help support a cross-return or euro-Swiss return to the 130, 135 area. Markets and administrators who, who've obviously gotten used to a 150-plus euro-Swiss, you know, in the last few years or in most of the 21st century so far, it's not going to happen anytime soon. We don't think... Your Swiss will recover the 150 mark for, for a good while now. Thank you very much indeed, Tony. If you want to keep track of how all the major financial decisions are impacting the currency markets, then stay tuned to Duke's Copy TV for all the latest interviews. Goodbye for now.